Today we're going to be looking at a pretty small Mario plushie, but also a pretty cool one. As well, this was actually the first ever Mario plushie to contain a Bowser Jr. plush. And well, in my opinion, this is just a really good set overall and it's pretty good quality. So yeah, with that said, welcome to a look at the SK Japan Mario plush set. Starting off with the first plush, we have the baby Mario. Now, the face on this plush is made out of a really fuzzy plush material, while the rest of the plush is just made out of like a normal plush material that's a lot less fuzzy than the face. And while the hands on this plush are also made out of this really fuzzy material, so I don't really know why they made that certain part of the plush a lot more fuzzy than the rest of it. But yeah, the embroidery on the face is pretty high quality, and the hat is really nicely stuffed, and the emblem is made out of an iron-on material, so it could get cracked. And well, same thing with the buttons on the overalls, and well, the overall straps are actually just part of the plush, instead of being separate pieces of the plush like most Mario plushes. And well, the rest of the Mario plush actually looks really accurate, and it basically just looks fine. And there's nothing really bad about this Mario plush, it's really nicely stuffed so it continues to keep its shape and in my opinion they didn't really get anything wrong with it. And well there's also a keychain of this version of the Mario plush that is literally just the exact same except it's just smaller obviously. And well there's also a few variations of this Mario plush like this one. This is the exact same as the normal baby Mario plush except it's just in a diaper. And well, unlike the original plush, this entire plush is basically made out of this really fuzzy material, while everything else like the hat is made out of a normal plush material. And while this variant of the plush also has a keychain of it, which is the exact same. And well, there's also another variant of this plush, which is just a standing baby Mario. And well, there's nothing really changed about this plush besides the fact that he's standing and you can see his legs a bit more. And well, it also shows you a bit more detail on the shoes than the original plush did when he was sitting down. And well, just like all the other variants, it also comes with a keychain. So yeah, there's a total of 6 Baby Mario plushes, and all of them kind of vary in rarity. But I would say that the normal sitting Baby Mario is by far the most common, the standing is the second most common, and the diaper variant is by far the rarest. And all well, the prices also vary as well, but I've seen some of these plushes sell for really cheap, and others sell for a lot. And it kind of also matters on the condition, and there doesn't really seem to be a set price with these plushes, it just kind of matters on the seller. But yeah, if you want any of these plushes, you can look on eBay or Macari. Moving on, we have the Baby Luigi. Now, for the Baby Luigi plush, you could obviously tell that they use the exact same pattern as the Baby Mario plush. As well, the only changes on this plush is that the hat is green and also has an L emblem on it. And also, the shirt's a green color, and same thing with the top of the shoes, they just change it to a dark green color instead of being a blue color like on the Baby Mario plush. But yeah, besides the color changes and also the emblem being different, the plush is the exact same as the baby Mario. So there's nothing really else to say about this variant of the plush, and also there's a keychain version of it. And well, there's also a baby Luigi diaper plush, which is the exact same as the baby Mario, except it has a different hat, obviously. And well, for whatever reason, it seems that this variant of the plush is just really hard to find. As well, you can find all the other variants on eBay relatively easily, but this one barely shows up for sale for whatever reason. And well, there's also a keychain version of it, which shows up even less, and it's probably the rarest Baby Luigi plush out of the six of them. And well, there's also a standing version of the Baby Luigi plush, which also has a keychain, and it's the exact same as the Baby Mario standing, except that the colors changed, obviously. But yeah, this was definitely a really easy plush for SK Japan to make as well. They just took the pattern for the Baby Mario plush and just made the colors different, which makes a lot of sense. But for the Luigi plushes, the rarity of them is the exact same as the Mario, that the sitting's the most common, the standing's the second most common, and the diaper variation is by far the rarest. And well, once again, the prices kind of vary mattering on the seller, and if you want them, you can look on eBay or Macari. Moving on, we have the Bowser Jr. plush. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this was the first ever Bowser Jr. plush to be made by any company, and in my opinion, it actually looks pretty good. Now, for the face on this plush, they actually did a really good job with it, and the face looks relatively defined. As well, since the face is really nicely stuffed, you can see the details like the cheeks and everything pretty easily, and the mouth on this plush looks pretty good, and the embroidery for the eyes and the nose look pretty good, and the eyebrows are made out of a felt material, and they're only glued on so they could fall off. And well, for whatever reason, the top of the face is actually a lime green color instead of being a darker green color. And well, honestly, I don't know why it's like this as well, there's basically no artwork of Bowser Jr. looking like this, so it could just be sun damage, but basically every single Bowser Jr. plush made by SK Japan looks like this. 
And while the hair on this plush is very hard to find in mint condition, as well, 9 times out of 10, you'll find the plush with bent hair because it's made out of a felt material. And while the bib on this plush is made out of a pretty strange material that I can't actually really describe. It's kind of like a paperish felt material. It's a really strange material that I don't really see on any other plush. But whatever the material used on the bib is, it seems to hold up pretty well and all the details on the bib are just printed onto the bib. And while the bib on this plush can't really come off unless if you purposely untie it, but you obviously shouldn't do that as well. once you untie it, you probably won't be able to tie it back on easily. And while the cuffs around the arms are made out of a felt material and inside the feet I actually have cardboard to make the plush stand up easier. On the bottom of the feet, there's some iron-on material that could get cracked pretty easily, and the toenails on this plush could get bent because they're made out of a felt material. And for the shell on this plush, it actually looks pretty good, except there's a lot of details that could get damaged. As of all the spikes are made out of a felt material, so they could get bent really easily, and you could basically never find a perfect shell on this plush. There's also a bit of iron-on material on it, which could get cracked pretty easily. But yeah, this entire plush is just really well stuffed, and the cardboard on the feet is a really good detail, as well, if there wasn't there, it would probably be really hard for this plush to stand up well. And there's also a keychain of this plush, which looks the exact same as the other one, except... You know, there's also a keychain of this plush, which is the exact same as the normal size, except just smaller, obviously. And for this plush's rarity, I would say both versions are basically the exact same rarity, as I see them show up for sale around an equal amount of times. So I don't really think one is rarer than the other, and the prices of them are both pretty similar. As well, for the keychain size, marrying on the condition of it, you could expect it to sell for around $60 to $80. And for the normal size of this plush, you could probably expect to get it for around $70 to $90, mattering on the condition of it. And it also kind of matters on the seller, as well, I've seen some sell for a lot of money, but also I've seen others sell for pretty cheap. And just like the other plushes in the set, by far the best place to get them is either eBay or Macari. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like and subscribe and comment down below which plushes is your favorite. And yeah, have a great day.